Hello everyone, I'm Stacy Sager. Today we're in Harpster celebrating uh, Phil Herring's farm as the 2012 Soybean Quality and Yield Challenge. Can you tell us a little bit about your farm? It's a family farm with your brothers. Farm with my brother and my son just joined the operation. My dad's still involved. Um, he's officially retired, but he still does help. And uh, it's a historical farm. We've been um, We've been on the same land since the 1850s, so um, so it does go back a long ways. I'm the sixth generation at this farm, so I think that's kind of a, a neat thing, and uh, so yeah, we're very proud of that. Very good. So you had some really outstanding yields last year. What's your secret? What kind of pulled it away for you in the end? You know, that that's we've talked about that. That's kind of tough to put a finger on. We didn't really do anything different with these acres. Um, we've been in the, the, the soybean yield contest for for three years now and and this one field just jumped out 20 bushel ahead we think partially was just the the weather conditions the field was stressed early with the dry conditions last year caught a couple rains and then we caught at the end of july caught a 1.4 inch rain that most people didn't get and it just took off and just really did well so i you know it's hard well, it's hard to grow on it exactly but uh it just really was exciting to see that kind of a yield for the contest field how was your weed control and fertility well, for, for fertility, and we do this for all of our farms, we, uh, we're in a grid soil sampling system and we, everything's VRT, lime, and the dry fertilizer. So we've, we've been in VRT for many years. And uh, as far as the weed control, nothing different. Early burn down. I think we burned down the field at the end of March. Valor, 2,4-D, and Roundup. And then we came back with Roundup the 1st of July and headline in the end of July. So basically the same thing we did in all of our acres. So it wasn't really anything different. What are your fields looking like for this year? Are you following some of the same practices or changing it up? Following some of the same practices. I'm um, going to use some Ascend this year with Headline and uh, Max and Magnanese also. With, that's a standard practice. So everything's pretty much the same, just a, just one, cha one little change. So You have some really great fields out there this year, but you also have another little side family business, your maple syrup. Yes, it's been in the family. Again, I told how, how long we've been here, and that's something the family has always done. Uh, we do syrup in February, March. We have a vacuum line system. We uh, run the syrup, the sap, through an RO, reverse osmosis, and then uh, we process it from there. So it's uh, something we love to do. We love being in the woods that time of year, and it's uh, just a fun operation. Very good. Well, thank you very much, Phil, and congratulations for being named the 2012 Soybean Yield Quality Contest winner. The Ohio Soybean Association is conducting the Yield and Quality Contest again this year. Here's Adam Moore with more details. The Ohio Soybean Yield and Quality Contest has several different categories. You can be in conventional till or no-till. You can participate in the quality contest for protein content. If you win the Soybean Yield and Quality Contest, the first prize gets to go to Commodity Classic next year in San Antonio, Texas. You also win cash prizes as designated by the place that you win in from $1,000 all the way to two fifty. We look forward to you joining the Yield and Quality Contest, and if you go to www.soyohio.org, you can sign up there.